Hello everybody, I'm back again. My name is Joseph, and today we're going to talk about the two tools, what I call the tools of the heart. Now these two tools are amazing. How many of you want to make more friends? How many of you want to have more fun? How many of you want to solve your problems in an easy way? How many want to keep your friends? Yeah, so what we know is when we use these tools, there's a better chance that we keep our friends, we make friends easier, we have more fun, we can learn better. All kinds of good things come from this. Now, there's one thing. These tools have to be used in the right way. So the first tool I'm going to introduce you to is called the iMessage. Let me show you. I have it right here. Okay, the iMessage. The four parts that I said. Now the first part is how you feel. It's really simple. If somebody pushes you or yells at you, you might say, I feel mad. If someone teases you or says something hurtful to you, you might say, I feel sad. If you're looking for a friend and no one will play with you, you might say, I feel sad or I feel lonely. If somebody's yelling at you or they're treating you really rough, you might say, I feel scared. So the first part is just how you feel, nothing more, just how you feel. So go ahead with your teacher, come up with feelings and make a list of about 10 different feelings. The second part, when people. Now, you see these dots after each one of these? That means you're supposed to finish the sentence. You can't just say, I feel when people. That won't make any sense. But you have to say, I feel sad when people tease me. Or, I feel mad when people push me. Now, don't say the word you. If you say, I feel mad when you push me, then the person's going to start arguing with you. I didn't push you, or you pushed me first, or all that other kind of stuff. So just say the word people instead of you. Let me give you another example. I feel happy when people play with me. So go ahead and let's practice that together. Ready? Get your hands ready. Get your I feel hand ready. Put it right on your heart and say it with me. I feel mad when people tease me. Let's try another one. I feel sad when people don't let me play. You're getting the idea. Let's go on to part three. Okay, part three is I need. Now that tends to be the hardest part. What do you need? You know what we want to say a lot of times? I need you to be different. I need you to be nicer. I need you to change. That's not going to work. No one wants to hear that. So you have to say what you need. Now I made a list of them. Where did I do with that list? Here it is. Okay. I made a whole list of different needs. Teachers, this might be a good idea in your own class to make a list of these. So take a look at this right now. Here's some of them here for you. So everybody say it with me. I need respect. Let's do this one. I need to play. Let's do this one. I need to be left alone. Okay, repeat after me this one. I need fairness. Good, there's a whole bunch more. So make a list for your class of what are different needs that you might need while you're out in the playground, while you're with your friends, while you're with your family. What are some things that we need? Now the last part, my favorite part, is when you get to ask. There is a you there. Look at I underlined it. There's no you here, no you here, no you here, but there is a you here. And it sounds like 
Will you please be nice to me? Will you please stop teasing me? Will you please play with me? Will you please be my friend? Will you please leave me alone? So let's go through the whole thing, all right? Repeat after me. I feel mad when people tease me. I need respect. Will you please stop teasing me and be nice? Good, let's try another one. I feel sad when people call me names. I need kindness. Will you please be nice to me? It's actually very simple. It only takes about a minute and there's four steps. So get your fingers ready and say them with me. I message, first part, I feel, second part, when people, third part, what I need, and fourth part, asking will you please. Go ahead, put it in your heart, turn to your teacher and say, I message comes from your heart. Good job.